Well, this week in Salt Lake City, it's certainly an emotional time. And from a football perspective, Utah will go on the road to match up against UCLA. But after the tragic death of Lauren McCluskey, who was a member of the track and field team this week, certainly heavy hearts this Utah team will be playing with. Mike Ammon, Curtis Conway with you. All right, from a football perspective, and at least the fans in that city can focus in on, on something to take their mind off of what's transpired over the last few days uh, in that city. Take me through what is working really well from the Utah perspective, because it seems like they can't do anything wrong on the football field. Well, you, you know they play well up front all the time. They've always been that team defensively up front and offensively up front. But I think the switch has been Tyler Huntley. What he's done in the last three games, 76% uh, percent completion ratio, 741 yards, seven touchdowns, and one interception, Mike. And here's what I like more than anything. Watching him as a youngster, he was more of a runner. All of a sudden now he looks like a pocket passer, especially watching that game last week. So watching him develop as a quarterback has been amazing, and the youth have definitely benefited from it. All right, there was a time this season we didn't know if UCLA would win a football game. They've now won two straight. What's, what's going in their favor? Well, I, I think when you start to see Chip has found out what he needs to do, you know, whether it was throwing the ball at first, but I think now he's figured, I have to run the football. And that's how they've been able to win football games. If you go back two weeks ago against Cal, they rushed for over 200 yards, running the football in three touchdowns this last week, 153 yards and a touchdown in both wins. So I think he's kind of found a formula for this particular team moving forward. Look forward to see uh, if they continue to be able to run the ball the way they have in the last two games. All right, we'll have complete coverage of this matchup on Pac-12 Network.